Alrighty, welcome to another exciting lesson of Pro Mandarin. Now, if you're worried that uh, learning languages is boring, hopefully I can change your mind on that. Now, you're probably looking at all these Chinese characters and thinking, can I learn all this Mandarin in one lesson? Well, let's find out. Alrighty, let's go ahead and jump right into this lesson. The first phrase that we have to work with here is 有意思. Now, if you've seen any of my other lessons on 意思, you'll know that it means meaning or means, such as what does this mean, or this means that, something like that. In this case, though, 有意思, you would think at first that it means it has meaning, but that really wouldn't make sense, and that's not a phrase that we use in English. The equivalent phrase that we use in English is, it is interesting. So, 有意思 means, it is interesting. There's another way on how to say it is interesting, which is 有趣. And the way to say it's very interesting, all you have to do is put 很 before it. So, 很有意思 means very interesting, or 很有趣. However, for the rest of this lesson, we're going to mostly focus on 有意思. Now, the way to negate this to say it's not very interesting, such as meaning it's boring, you'd say... Now, you may have also noticed that I put in parentheses yo because for may, you don't actually have to say yo. You could say meisu, and that means the same thing as meoisu. However, for the hun, you always have to say yo. So, just to be clear about that, you wouldn't say hun isu. You would say hun yo isu. Okay, moving forward now, we're going to add in another couple columns here. In the upper left column, we'll have zhu. Depending on what that's paired up with, that can mean this, these, or here. However, in today's lesson, we're going to pair it up with nouns and their appropriate classifiers in order to mean this. And I'll explain a little bit more what I mean and how to use it here in just a second. So then the next character here, na, can mean that, those, or there. But in today's lesson, we'll be using it as that. And then lastly in this column, we'll have na. Now, na means which, as in a question. Now, I'll give you some examples here shortly on how to use na. So for the next word, we'll have dian. To say that a little bit slower is dian yung. Now to the left of it, you'll notice that I didn't say the character bu. And that's because bu is a classifier. And I do explain this in more depth in, and give you a lot of practice with classifiers in some of my other videos. However, for the sake of this video, I'll just give you one example of how classifiers work. In English, if I were to say to you, give me bread, you'd probably be a little confused by that statement. But if I said give me a slice of bread or give me a loaf of bread, now you'd know exactly what I I mean. Well, in Chinese, all nouns have classifiers. However, on this next word, I'll show you the default classifier that you can use for any noun in case you don't know the correct classifier for the noun that you're talking about. So this next word is 故事. Now, 故事 means story. The classifier for it in this case is going to be 个. Now, I'm going to go over the last piece of vocabulary in this column, and then I'm going to explain to you how all these work together. The last one here is shu means book, and button is the classifier for it. Now, the way that these work is, if I were to say this movie, I would say 这部电影. If I were to say that movie, I would say 那部电影. If I were to say which movie, I would say, as in like, which movie are you talking about, I would say 那部电影. Now, this goes the same way with 故事 and 书. So, for an example, this book, I would say 这本书. For that story, I would say 那个故事. Or which story? 哪个故事? And so on. Now, why did I say that 个 is the default? Well, if you didn't know the appropriate classifier for which noun you're using, then you can always just use 个. For an example, 这个电影. Even though the correct way of saying it is 这部电影. So, with that, we'll move on to the last two pieces of vocabulary that I'm going to give you for this first part. And, and of these two, the first one is 冲浪. Now, 冲浪 means both to surf, so it's a verb, but it also means surfing, as in a noun. Alright, now for the last one, let me give you 足球, which is soccer. For an example, soccer, you could say, soccer isn't that interesting, or soccer is boring. You'd say 足球没有意思, or you can say 足球没意思. 
Now, whenever I ask, how would you ask or how would you say, and then I follow it up with a phrase, what I'm going to do is give you a moment to try to work it out in your own mind how you would say that, and then try to say it out loud. Now, if you need some extra time, go ahead and pause the video to give yourself a little bit extra time to kind of work that out. So with that, how would you say this movie is very interesting? 这部电影很有意思。这部电影很有意思。all right, now how would you say this story is not interesting? Again, you can always say and that would mean exactly the same thing. All right, so how would you ask, just supposing somebody said that book is not very interesting, and you were to ask which book is not interesting, how would you ask that? All right, let's go for one more example. Let's say that's not an interesting story, or that story is not interesting. How would you say that? 那个故事没意思。那个故事没意思。now let's go ahead and move on to the next section but before we do that make sure you hit that like button and please subscribe to this channel it really helps me out so i can continue to make quality content like this video all right now back to the lesson so now for part two we're going to go ahead and get rid of the uh yo isa section and we're going to introduce some new words the first one is how, which generally means good or well, but in this case, it's going to also mean very. Now, it wasn't used with yo isa because generally speaking, you don't hear that how yo isa. You would hear han yo isa or something like that. But in this case, it can be used with this other word, which I'm going to show you here in just a second. The next word down will be hun. So we got this one back again. It's also very. And then this last word is Uliao. So this is how you can say this is boring. So breaking down wu liao, wu means without or absent of, and liao is, it's typically paired up with liao tian, which means to chat or to talk about something. So if it's something not worth talking about, it's probably boring. So let's go ahead and try a few different examples here. Now, how would you say that book is very boring. And let's use how this time instead of hun. Okay, let's say soccer is very boring using the hun. Now, how would you say that movie is very boring using how? Okay, for this next part, we're going to add in a little bit of bonus material. Now, we don't need to say how or hun before wu liao because we're already giving the degree of how boring it is right now. Now, si le is kind of like saying to death or having died or something like that. However, we do have some of our own exaggerated words and phrases just like that. For example, one word would be so with a long exaggerated so, like this book is so boring or this book is boring me to death. You would say, 这本书无聊死了, so with that, how would you say, this story is so boring, or this story is boring me to death? And then let's just say you're watching surfing, I don't know, on TV or something, and you're kind of tired of watching it, and nobody wants to change the channel, and you're just saying, come on. Surfing is so boring. How would you say that? All right, let's do one more, and then we'll finish up with a bonus phrase. All right, so how would you say, that movie bored me to death? 
or that movie is so boring. 那部电影无聊死了。那部电影无聊死了。All right, for this last little part, I'm gonna add in a couple phrases here. We have 撑死了 in which 撑死了 is kind of a way of saying I'm so full I'm about to pop because we really wouldn't say I'm so full to death in English. So the equivalent would be I'm so full I'm about to pop. Or something like that, but it's a fun little phrase to use. So you'd say, "我撑死了 Now the more common phrase to say is, "I'm full," and the way you'd say that is, "我吃饱了我吃饱了 So there you have it. A couple extra phrases, and that wraps up today's lesson. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and haven't 点赞 or 订阅 yet, please do so now. Or in other words, please like and subscribe. Also, if you like this video and you feel you need more practice, feel free to rewatch this video as many times as you need. And if you feel ready to move on, then check out the other videos on this channel as well. I promise you'll be speaking Mandarin fluently in no time. And until next time, 下次见。